This is Mr. Martin. This is uh, the second video for section 4.6, graphing other trig functions. So 4.6 continued. All right, and uh, really we're just going to look at one more example here for graphing cotangent. So we want to graph three periods of y equals 2 cotangent x minus pi over 2. Alright, so just like always, let's find a, b, c, and d. So a is going to be 2. Uh, b is going to be uh, the coefficient of our uh, x term, so that's going to be 1. And then c is uh, positive pi over 2, and d in this case is 0. And once we have those, um, again, we don't need to find the amplitude, uh, but we're going to find the period. So period is pi over b, which is just going to be pi. Phase shift is c over b, so that's pi over 2 divided by 1, which is pi over 2. So this is shifted to the right, pi over 2. Vertical shift is based on d, so that's just 0. And then our distance between key points, which again we're going to use for our graph, is our period divided by 4. So that's just going to be pi over 4. So I'm going to mark my graph every pi over 4. All right. And before I get to the graph, I'm going to uh, find my asymptotes. So again, we want to take this bx minus c part, and we want to figure out for what values is, is this going to give me, when I take the cotangent, will I get undefined? <coughs> And we talked about um, anytime you're on the x-axis, you're going to get a value that's undefined. So what we want to do is I want to take um, my x minus pi over 2, and I'm going to set it equal to 0, because when this x value makes the whole thing 0, I'll be taking the cotangent of 0, which is undefined. So that means that when x is pi over 2, my function will be undefined. So I'm going to have an asymptote there. And I'm going to set my x minus pi over 2 equal to pi. Careful with your algebra here. I'm going to add pi over 2 to both sides. So uh, 1 pi over 2 plus 2 pi over 2 is 3 pi over 2. So I'm going to have another asymptote at 3 pi over 2. So once I have my asymptotes, I can start to um, make my graph. So um, I'm going to make a couple of points to the left, make them as equally spaced as I can, and then I'm going to make a bunch over to the right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll see if that's enough. And again, my distance between key points was every pi over four, so pi over four, two pi over four, which is pi over two, three pi over four. 4 pi over 4, which is pi, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, which is 3 pi over 2, and that should be enough there. So I've got uh, asymptotes at pi over 2, so here's one of my asymptotes. And then I have another one at 3 pi over 2. And just like with tangent, if you did everything correctly so far, you're going to have three spots in between the asymptotes. And these are the three uh, x-coordinates that we want to plug into the function. So um, I've got x, I've got 2 cotangent x minus pi over 2. So I'm going to um, substitute in 3 pi over 4 pi and 5 pi over 4. If you didn't get three spots in between your asymptotes, I would start over and figure out what you did wrong. So I've got 2 times the cotangent, uh, 3 pi over 4 minus 2 pi over 4 is 1 pi over 4. I know the cotangent of pi over 4 is 1, so that's going to be 2. And then I have 2 cotangent pi minus pi over 2 is pi over 2. And I know at uh, pi over 2, up at the top here, I've got 0, 1, and the cotangent is x over y, so that's going to be 0, so 2 times 0 is 0. 
and then I've got 2 times the cotangent uh, 5 pi over 4 minus uh, 2 pi over 4 is 3 pi over 4 so 3 pi over 4 so I'm over here in the second quadrant I know the cotangent is the reciprocal of the tangent the tangent's negative 1 there so the cotangent will also be negative 1 so that's 2 times negative 1 or negative 2 so I need to go up to 2 not drawn the scale down to negative 2 so at 3 pi over 4 I'm at 2 at pi I'm at 0 and at 5 pi over 4 I'm at negative 2 and then again we've drawn a nice smooth curve that approaches our asymptotes and then I just need to draw two more cycles so skip three spots draw an asymptote where we'll be undefined again and then I'm at 2 0 negative 2 Okay, and then uh, skip three spots, draw another asymptote, at negative pi over 4. So I'm going to be at 2, 0, negative 2, smooth curve, approach the asymptotes, don't cross our touch. So if you have questions, um, especially about calculating these values here, uh, make sure you write those down so you don't forget to ask them the next time you see me in class.